Hi guys, so in this video I want to show you um, an example of how to work backwards involving income tax questions. So this is probably the more difficult side of the higher level uh, paper when it comes to applied arithmetic. So sometimes instead of giving you someone's gross income and asking you to work out their net pay, they're going to tell you something maybe about their net tax and then ask you to work backwards to work out the gross pay. So we're going to have a look at an example now to help us understand how to calculate these questions. Okay, so in this question, let's review the information that we've been given. So first of all, we're told that Connor has paid 7,000 in tax last year. Now, the really important thing to think about this is that it's not gross tax, it's net tax. So the first thing that I would do on my exam paper is write down that I know that net tax is equals to 7,000. So that's how much Connor actually paid to the government in tax last year. The next bit of information is we're told his standard cutoff point, so again that's important, um, and we're told the rates of tax, and we're told that he has tax credits of 2,400. So that's going to help us out with net tax in a couple of minutes. And what we're asked to calculate is his gross pay for last year. So we want to work out how much money he earned before deductions last year. So, Step one, just like we did in the previous video, is we're going to draw a picture and just fill in what we know. So again, if you looked at the last video, you would have seen that I drew a rectangle to represent his gross pay. Now obviously we don't know that right now, so I can't say how much this rectangle adds up to be. But I do know that up until the standard cutoff point, the max that can be in here is 32,800 and we know that he pays tax at 20% here. Now right now we don't know how much goes into this section because we don't know how much extra he's earned that's kind of what we're trying to figure out but we do know that whatever he does earn at that section will be taxed or was taxed at 40%. Okay, that's step one. So that's getting my head clear as to what I'm actually trying to figure out here. So I'm trying to basically work out how much over the standard cutoff point has he earned. And then I can add that to my 32,800 and I get my gross pay. So step two is we're going to go over to this net tax. And we're going to ask yourself a question. What is net tax made up of? So net tax is made up of gross tax minus tax credits. Okay, so what that means is that we obviously started off thinking that we had to pay a certain amount of tax to the government, which we call gross tax. However, because we had a certain amount of tax credits, we didn't have to pay that. So, if we want to go backwards and we want to work out how much tax we originally thought we had to pay to the government, we're going to add back on my tax credits to my net tax. That's going to allow me to actually find out how much tax I originally thought I had to pay. So in order to work out our gross tax then we're going to do 7,000 euro plus my tax credits of 2,400. So therefore we originally thought that we had to pay 9,400 euro in gross tax. That's a big help because the gross tax in this question we know is made up of the tax that we paid at the lower rate of 20% plus the tax that we had to pay on the higher rate of thirty of 40%. And the other thing I like about this is that I can calculate my lower rate of tax or my standard rate of tax straight away. So therefore I know that my gross tax is equals to the standard tax that this uh, person had to pay plus the higher tax. And we know what gross tax is equals to. We know and we're, we will be able to figure out how much standard tax they paid. So therefore it's very easy for us to work out our higher tax. So step three is we're actually going to calculate how much standard tax that this person paid. The way we're going to do that like we've been doing in all the other videos is we're going to find 20% of 32,800 and that's going to give me 6,560. 
So if we take that back over then to the right hand side, we know that 9,400 euro is equals to 6,560 euro plus a higher tax rate. So if I want to go backwards then, or if I want to, I suppose, reformulate this equation, I want higher tax to be by itself. So I want to get rid of the 6,560 from the right hand side of the equation. So I'm going to minus it from both sides. So therefore higher tax is going to be equals to 9,400 minus 6,560. So therefore my higher tax rate that I had to pay on this gross uh, income, which we're not sure of yet, is equals to 2,800 and 40 euro. So if we take this up here then, that means that 40% of this amount of money that I'm still trying to figure out is equals to 2,840. Again, from a bit of work that we've done on percentages, hopefully we can say, okay, well, if I know what 40% of something is, I can work out what 100% is. So what I'm going to do next then for part four is I'm going to say, okay, 40% is equals to 2,840. And I really want to know what 100% of that is because then I'll have the amount of money that this person paid over or was earning over 32,800. So I'm going to find 1% first of all. The way that we find 1% is we're going to divide both sides by 40. When I divide both sides by 40, I'm going to get 71. So 71 is equals to 1%. However, I don't want 1%, I want 100%. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 100. So therefore, 100% is equals to 7,100. What that represents then is that is how much money this person earned over your standard cutoff point, which was 32,800. So I can actually bring this amount of money back up to my diagram now and fill it in. So we are nearly there. The final thing that we have to do to answer this question then is say, okay, gross income is made up of my 32,800 plus the amount of money after my standard cutoff point, which was 7,100. And when we add those two together, we are going to get a gross income of 39,900.